Hey guys, this is Tony from Pittsburgh Steel Gaming. Here I got a new PlayStation 4 Pro that hasn't even been opened yet. And I did the last video pretty quickly and didn't give you guys a full thorough, I guess a clean install of a new hard drive. The it comes with the one terabyte and here I got a new four terabyte. Let those focuses hard drive I'm going to be putting in this one. I'm going to show you guys how to do a clean install on it. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Saved you guys a hassle watching me take all these screws and whatnot out. But there's a clip right here. What you do is you put your finger, pop it out. And then there's three screws. There's one, two, three of these little Torx heads. And then there's one Phillips head. But you need to get yourself a Torx head like someone like this. Okay. And then you get you need to get yourself a Phillips head, small one, and if it's not magnetic, take a magnet, a small one, just rub it on there, give it a few, like a wash it, and it picks up your screws for you. Trust me, it works really good in the long run. And if you guys happen to have an anti-static band, I wear mine on my foot, but you're messing around with electronics, especially something high-end pricey like this. They're only, I think, three or four dollars. Don't go on, keeps you guys from shocking or shorting out your board somewhere and but anyways when you get this screws out this one doesn't want to pop up it's kind of difficult so you might want to get something in there to try and prop it up but i use like a little i broke a plastic fork in half and used it to work my way way this way and then once you get it up in the back like this you push forward and up it comes off so underneath here you get a bunch of these silver torque screws to be exact there's 11 that go around and there's 11 of these, these tiny little Phillips head screws around each one has a little arrow marked on it so you want to take those all off just to keep them separate and same thing with your Wi-Fi connection right here all you do is take your fingernails pop up on it there's three of them tuck the wires off to the side and once you do that too I forgot about your hard drive you slide the hard drive out and set it off to the side and then up comes this be very careful when you take it up that way you don't hit any of the components on the board underneath but i'll be right back once i get this bent up a little bit all right guys here's another quick tip this is the bottom plate from this this is the hardware tray the hard drive tray once you take the hard drive out and when it slides in it slides in like this it stops on this little circle right here okay oh, let me get the focus it slides in and it locks in there's a little indentation right here what i do is i mark it up along the side here and along the side here so that way i can get some cutting shears and cut this out the reason why i cut it out is i see a lot of a couple other videos where you can put it in you can put it together but it's going to bulge and when it bulges they can't be good for the hard drive sandwiching it in between like that at least when you cut it out it has a little bit of room to breathe and a little bit room i guess more wiggling room but I make the marks. I don't know if you guys can see it or whatnot. But I'll be right back once I cut this up and show you. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is with it all cut out. Like I said, for the hard drive and the tray. This is where the tray went in. But this is it going back together. So, slide your hard drive in place. What I, what I did was I bent these down a little bit helps it a little bit better when you put it back together but 
Move your wires out of the way. I start with the small Phillips heads. I don't tighten them all down yet either. Just in case. Remember, there's 11 of each. There's 11 Phillips heads and 11 Torx. This is where the magnet comes in place. Hook your Wi-Fi back up. Don't worry, they're labeled too. There's white with white. Just reroute them back up to where they were. When you hear it click, you know they're in. Uh, same thing with the torques. It's eleven of these. get them all started then I go around with the final torque down you don't want to crank them all down at one time I said they all have an arrow, so. Okay. 
can't work with the inner ones so really tight, you know. strip out and bust. Go back to line and tighten up all your little flip sets. What's nice too is you can put the Phillips head back in this one here. And it holds it in place. Put the bottom. sides. And you got three of these torques in the back. You can put these stickers back on if you want. I mean, kind of voided the warranty anyways, but what the heck? Here's the other thing I noticed. There's one screw that goes right here. It's not going to go back in. Or, yeah, me. Guys, I'm gonna plug it in, fire it up, and show you what it looks like. Just a quick update you guys gotta get yourself a flash stick with at least I do mine with at least what eight eight gigabytes. And then I re download it the, from PlayStation.com, the update version. Plug it into port one, plug your controller into port two, and then update it before you uh, get any further. I'll be right back with the update when I post. Okay, guys, it's all booted up. There's the four terabytes. Uh, you can see it's running. I hope this was a little bit more useful. The last one was, I guess, kind of fast, whatnot. But this one I kind of did a little bit more thorough. So I hope you guys have a nice day. Please share, like the video, thumbs up. 
It'd be kind of easy with the comments. This is my first couple videos, so I'm trying to get known out there in the YouTube world. Have a nice day, guys.